Thank you all so much for joining us this evening for this celebration of the 30th anniversary of the Baha'i Chair for World Peace. Years ago, the University of Maryland reached out to the Baha'i community with an idea. What if we partner together, applying essential human principles to engage with the world's largest problems? That simple inquiry was the start of a remarkable partnership that has resulted in a breadth of knowledge promoting the interests and well being of humanity. Through the rigorous examination into the roots of systemic racism and the causes of prejudice, to investigation of the structures that create women's inequality, to the impediments that restrain us from having a truly global system of governance and leadership, and to the causes of climate change, environmental injustice, and the challenges of human nature. We are interdisciplinary because modern life can only be understood from multiple perspectives. We are not looking to find the best practices for a particular side. Rather, we are looking to build a storehouse of human knowledge, human accomplishment, and human possibility. All of these events have been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge, the pursuit of peace, and the pursuit of a better world for humanity. Throughout college, I took 35 classes, but there is only one that changed the fundamentals of how I look at the world. I was lucky enough to walk into Dr. Bob Moody's honor seminar my first week at the University of Maryland back in 2016. It was here that I learned how different the world looks outside of Howard County, Maryland. My relationship with the chair has fundamentally changed me into a more aware, selfless, and thoughtful person. However, I am just one of the countless young adults shaped by the work of Dr. Mahmoudi and Dr. Steven. Through education and discussion, they are building a more equitable future one young mind at a time. In this particular seminar, I saw students truly grow and become introspective. And at the end of the semester, we might not have single-handedly solved the problem of prejudice, but we began to lay the groundwork to initiate a lifelong dialogue that will need to be revisited time and time again. And I just want to close by reading a part of her chapter in our book, because I think it really speaks to the work that we've done, and it really speaks to the work of the Baha'i Chair for World Peace. Hoda says, quote, at its heart, racial injustice is a spiritual problem that threatens the secular success of the American state. As a fundamentally immaterial challenge, racial justice echoes concepts of human dignity. That applies to all human beings. The processes of peace, and even more importantly, the yearning for peace, is our most human attribute. In choosing the paths of peace, we choose the best of all we are and the best of all we can be. For in choosing peace, we lay the first stone towards the construction of a new world. And the laying of the stones of peace fires the imaginations of those today and those to come. But simply to imagine peace is to imagine a new world. The successes of peace will come from all of us, and us comprised of the fellowship of the willing. The work of peace will come from a collaboration of those dedicated to toiling in unison, regardful of the past, while being fully in the present and with a mind to the future. We invite you to help us imagine such a new world of peace. Thank you.